Salut, I'm Peach. Today we do some uh, macro photography. Oh, a snake. So cute. It looks like uh, now my eyes are more used to see snakes in that uh, green uh, field. And uh, I will try to make a stack of his head. Hopefully he will not move too much. He should not. This is, uh, if I remember, a Marens uh, bronze back tree snake. It's twice smaller than the first one I saw like uh, two weeks ago. Very small head, half a centimeter large. Oh. I will go 1,320th of a second. I am at ISO 2500. We have a nice background. I think it's good. Beautiful. Ah, yes, don't move, don't move. Oh, beautiful. Wow. So we are in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. It was raining since uh, it's uh, raining a lot more since one month now so we have a uh, quite a lot of mosquito so I, I have to put a lot of cream I brought with me uh, the Canon R7 the Lawa 65 uh, millimeter ultra macro oh there is a big uh, red bug over here two Whoa, that's big. That's uh, more than two, five. All right, I got my flash. Let's try again. Just waiting for one to go. Ah, there is one here. They are not too skittish. It's nice. There is another here. Okay, let's go for this one. Mm, they look a bit like cicadas, but black. Ah, there is a spider here. I came here spe specifically because three days ago I saw some uh, torn mimic uh, tree hopper, and uh, they are very cute. You can take some nice picture from uh, uh, of their face, some nice portrait. Unfortunately, my exposure was not great, so it's a bit dark, but still, it's still good. So let's take my camera and take some pictures of that spider. It's a jumping spider. She saw me already. She's wandering. Oh, there is also a caterpillar here. He's turning his back to me. Back to me. Ah, other side of the leaf. Of course, I am not in macro mode. And that's one of the things I learned uh, in my one year and a half photographing uh, stuff here. Always check your settings. I will make a video the 10 things I learned in my uh, one year photography journey. Link over there soon. So 
sure I found a place uh, with shade and I will stay here for a while I think I will drink my tea it is very hard to walk under the sun in the Philippines after uh, 10 minutes I totally wet my t-shirt with uh, one kilo now I don't know if you tried that before walking under the sun in the Philippines you should try anyway you know we have the most friendly people on earth here always smiling and joking around and if you don't like the people you can come for the beaches or scuba diving or hiking or to photograph uh, many different species around here scuba diving probably the best in the world Oh, there's a horse totally free running over there. Oh, that's daddy. Oh, they join each other. Sometimes there is a horse that can manage to get free. Okay, look at that. I don't know what's happening over there. A couple? Hello. I think they are happy to see each other. Let's find, let's find a place with uh, some stuff to photograph. We, they are here. They look uh, happy to be together. Uh, maybe over there. Oh, there is something here. Yeah some insect in the middle of that leaf Whew. now that I know there is much more snake that I could dream of I'm a bit more prudent Wow, I remember like uh, one month ago when I came here at the exact same place to make uh, I think the video of the Sigma 150 to 600 you can see the link over there the tree was half the size of those really I'm not kidding it was I look 
I feel like I'm smaller than before going in the exact same uh, place. All was half the size. Everything. I could see the bay of Puerto Princesa over there before. Now I cannot anymore. And actually, if, I, if you take that uh, little pathway here, you can reach the mangrove. I don't know if you saw the video that I made of me crossing the mangrove. I really like that video. I will put a link on the on the screen over there and for now I will continue to hunt as usual you can hear some birds around me I'm uh, never totally alone there is the birds and sometimes at that exact same place I remember one day suddenly I hear some uh, I heard some uh, something someone uh, walking behind me. I turned my head and it was a Filipino with two big uh, knives. I remember that. And he was coming right at me. And me, I didn't know what to do. I said, hello, kumusta kayo? And he answered to me, I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> and he turned to the to his left right there. And he went to take some more uh, tools because he was uh, cutting some trees around here. So because we are close to the border of my field, I will show you if I can uh, a part of uh, Puerto Princesa Bay. I'm not sure I can go there. No, I cannot go there. Okay, that's all you get. Did you see something? Last time when I came here to see the bay, uh, there was uh, something big running over there. I could hear, is, uh, I could not see what it was, but I could hear him walking on the dead leaves and moving some trees around, you know. I think, I guess it was a big lizard. It's usually a big lizard. Like it was a big lizard under my bed in Davao seven years ago. It was a big lizard crossing the road in Tai Tai. It's always a big lizard. Sometimes it's a monkey, but So I hope you liked my little video, please like and subscribe, it helps my channel to grow. And I see you on the next one, cheers!